Hi, this is Catherine from Two of Swords, and it's the last year, it's the last day of 2021, a year I shall not miss. Uh, <laughs> but it was a fun day for me because I got a miniature spinning wheel. Let me get the autofocus to work. This is so cool. Okay, it actually, the wheel spins. It has a, the bobbin also spins. It has a pretty um, accurate mother of all, which is this bit right here. And if you're wondering where I got such an item, it's from a Remint miniature set called The Witch's House. Let me see. Okay. 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 Uh, called the witch's house can I fit this all in there yes Remit is a Japanese company that makes um, kind of dollhouse or just collectible miniatures um, there's several unboxing really well done unboxing videos of the set on YouTube so I'll link to one in the description box but um, one of the reasons I want to make this video is because I actually ordered the Yarn Tarot, which I know Megan, Wicked Moonlight, um, she live streamed the unboxing. Um, so I'll link to that in the description box, in the description box too. But I ordered it as well. And I'm really excited because I do all the crafts, the four cra the crafts that are featured in there, including knitting, knitting's my main craft, crochet, weaving, and spinning yarn. So that's supposed to, according to uh, my shipping tracker, that's supposed to arrive on Monday. So once that does, I will do an unboxing from a fiber, uh, fiber um, worker, <laughs> fiber artist, or textile artist as perspective. Um, but while I am waiting impatiently for that to arrive, I decided it'd be fun to go through my decks and find cards that have a knitting or a, a textile or fiber work theme to them. And the first one I found is the Three of Pentacles and the Light Seekers Tarot. Let me see if I hold this closer, will it autofocus? Yeah, but you can see um, one of the details there, there's, there's a th three people. They look like they might be a family working on a tapestry that looks like and incorporates crochet, macrame, and knitting. And one of the details I love is that, let me see if I can autofocus. You can see the woman she's knitting. She's actually holding out the fabric to examine it as she knits, you know, which is, <laughs> I should do this more often when I'm knitting so I don't have to like rip back my knitting if I spot a mistake that was 20 rows back. Um, but this is definitely a really cool little detail that Chris Ann included that I think could be potentially useful when I'm using the image for tarot readings for myself or other people. And I also love it when knitters are depicted accurately in artwork. It, you don't always see that when it's non-knitters who are doing the art. Okay, and then I have, let's see. Okay, I didn't know if this counted, but... It's from the Cat Tarot, the one by Megan Lincott. And, um, <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is count because this is as, this is like one of my worst nightmares is to walk into my office and see my cat, see my yarn, which is not good for yarn. It's also not good for the cats because they could obstruct your vowels. But um, since we're on a yarn theme here, the cat is making what the cat considers fiber art or textile art too. So I decided this was worth including. And also because it has so many yarn, so much yarn in it. Just an abundance of yarn. It looks like it looks like my home office when I'm trying to organize my yarn, which is a project for that I'm going to do next year. I, I love saying that, like, on the last, on, like, December, December, like, 31st of every year, I'm going to do it next, I'm going to do it next year, see you next year, ha, 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 when it actually means, like, it's going to be tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up. But anyways, okay, um, the next tarot 
deck is actually the Chrysalis deck, and this had a mutter load of fiber art related cards. There was actually one. Gosh, okay, I'm so annoyed with myself because I looked up how do you pronounce this. Ariadne, 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 before I filmed this video, and of course I forgot, but I love, you know, it's really fascinating to me that she represents death, even though she's holding the ball of yarn. Um, but in the myth, as I remember, she does transform into a spider. So yeah, it could be transformation too. Is there a spider theme in here? No, but I mean, I love how the death card in um, the Chrysalis Tarot incorporates yarn. Okay, I'm trying to see if I could, it's a little bright, bright. Let me see, let me dial down the brightness on my light. Okay. Oh, actually. Okay, good. I think, yeah, you should be able to see the detailing in that. But yeah, she's holding that ball of yarn. And I love how yarn in tarot cards is always depicted in balls. I actually, I don't ball mine. I usually use a skein winder or a ball winder, skein skein, a ball winder, and put it into center pool cakes so they don't roll all over the place because I have three cats. And if I had yarn balls sitting around... I would have no yarn because they would destroy it all. Okay, in the other two cards in the Chrysalis Tarot that depict text, te textile art are um, weaving related. Seven of Mirrors, it took me a while to figure out if this was a loom or not, but you could see the warp in the weft over here. So yeah, she's weaving and also in Queen of Scrolls is also a weaver. And here, it looks like the seven mirrors, she's making a piece of cloth, whereupon the weaver is working on a tapestry with a butterfly on it. So I thought that was a really cool differentiation. And also, I mean, if I were doing a reading and I got both of these in, in it, both of the cards in the same reading, I would kind of look for a connection between the two because they're just so similar down to their hair. Actually, Chrysalis Tarot is one of those decks I want to use more, but I just don't because it is less intuitive for me. Um, I recently bought the version with the guidebook and hopefully that will give me the chance to kind of understand more of what the symbology means in each card. Okay. And then next one up is, I wonder if the box is going to be big enough to fit. Okay, let me find, oops. Okay, let me dial down the brightness a bit. Okay, so we have the Everyday Enchantment Tarot, and there are two cards in here with textile themes. One is the world. The world shows a group of women of different ages and races, um, creating the world basically, a landscape using yarn. It looks like, yeah, they're holding knitting needles. They're all holding knitting needles. There's green yarn and there's brown yarn with gray specks that you, it looks like a yarn I'm using in my current project with, which is a stranded color work sweater. Um, and they're making this like tapestry and the tapestry is coming to life as they're working on it. So I really love that depiction for the world. I mean, um, it's just gorgeous. An idea of people from diff around the world knitting together the world using text. I think it's just because, you know, art is just like traditionally, cons I mean, textile work is traditionally considered women's work and it wasn't considered art either. It was considered labor, but it also wasn't, I think, given its due as labor. So to see it depicted as something magical and something that is the force of life is really, I think, touching because if it wasn't for textiles, there wouldn't be modern life as we know it. There wouldn't be, there wouldn't have been sales for boats for people to travel around the world. 
There would have been clothes for people to travel into new climates. There would have been fishing nets. So yeah, textile, textiles are the world, you know, and I think people take them for granted. Like, for example, you, you see, you know, people's attitudes towards clothing or costume design or fashion. There, a lot of people think that those are really shallow things to be interested in, but it's a really, it's one of the most important nonverbal ways of communication, right? So that's one of the reasons why I'm really interested in textile arts beyond, you know, the fact that I love knitting and spinning and doing all these crafts and why I think everybody should kind of give it its due. Okay, anyways, that was a little tangent I had to go on. And speaking of giving it its giving textile art is due the seven of coins i think it shows a woman with her it looks like applic applique and quilted um stuffed animals and cushions and her necklace also looks like it's applique and she has bunting at a craft fair kind of waiting for a sale and i thought that was perfect for seven of coins because when I was in my 20s and living in New York City, I used to make jewelry and I would sell at craft fairs. And I knew absolutely nothing about marketing or presentation back then, so I didn't do very well. But I remember just kind of like the vulnerability of sitting there and waiting and having people come over and examine things that you had created with your hands that you had pulled out of your mind and then turned into reality with your hands. And then looking at it kind of from a buyer's perspective and not either buying or not buying it usually not buying it in my case. So yeah, this card brings back memories for me. And um, I was really happy to see these two cards and it makes me really excited to work with this deck, which is a relatively recent acquisition. Okay, let's decide. Okay, and I was actually surprised because one of my favorite, I think one of my favorite um, cards depicting a spinning wheel is from what is my camera doing one second let me move to manual focus okay so um modern spellcasters tarot i totally did not expect to see this if you could see it let me see it's a woman. Let me see if I can move it back to autofocus without it getting all screwy. Well, and never mind, I'm not even going to try that. But it's a woman sitting with um, a baby on her lap, another baby on the floor, on the shoreline with a ship in the background, spinning long draw, and it's the sun. And it's just gorgeous. And it's just like my dream of what spinning should be, but I cannot imagine a baby that will let you spin <laughs> while sitting that closely and actually stay in your lap without doing anything funny to the yarn, you know, because babies are like cats in that regard. Okay, let me switch back to autofocus and see if I can move it closer. There, see? Well, actually, that baby looks like it's a cat. It looks like it's about to poise. Actually, I should, I'm calling a baby it, and I don't like it when people do that. So they, they look like they're poised to grab the yarn with their little paws, right? Babies are cat-like in, cat -like in that sense, and I say that having had a baby of my own. <laughs> okay. In the box you go and let's see okay and then finally I think my camera what are you doing camera okay finally my final card I think is one of my favorite cards so far it's from the Gaian tarot and or Gaian, Gaian. I always I annoy myself so much because I always look up the pronunciation of words before I film videos. But then of course I forget how you say it. I need to write them down on post-it notes before I do videos. But I was really surprised to see Elder of Earth is a woman spinning, and she's doing it in a modern context. Because usually when you see spinning depicted in art. OK, 
okay. I don't know what's gotten into my lens, but back to manual focusing, and I hope there. Yeah, but basically, as you can see, as I play with the manual focus, she is a woman in an or orchard, and she has a castle wheel, uh, which is a um, her vertical wheel, the same kind that I have, but mine is folding, so it, it looks different. Instead of a Saxony wheel, which is like the wheels that you kind of think of when you think of fairy princes knitting, I mean spinning wheels, or, you know, this is a Saxony wheel. Um, but it's so cool to see, like, you, you get the sense that maybe she's participating in a spinoff or one of those sheep to shawl contests where people see how quickly they could share a sheep, um, prepare the, 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 um, fiber, the wool, um, spin it, and then either knit or weave it into a shawl. Those are, those are competitions. My dream is to take part in one of them one day, but it's really cool to see it in a, to see spinning in a modern modern context she's in an or or let's see an orchard it looks like an orchard there's a little deer in the background watching her and she's spinning so i actually have this deck um by joanna powell cobert with her other deck herb crafters tarot and i'm really excited to work with um i'm planning to use um the guy in tyro tarot as a tarot deck and herb crafters as an oracle deck and alongside it so i'm really excited to do that and i hope this card comes up often for me okay so to recap we have the guy in tarot with the elder of earth modern spellcasters with the sun everyday enchantments Seven of Coins and the World. Both of them are really fantastic. The Chrysalis Tarot, of course, I shoved the cards into the middle of the deck already, um, so I can't find them. But yeah, this this has like three fiber arts related cards. So this is another deck I'm excited to work with once. <laughs> Once I get around, I, I really need to stop like working with the same few decks over and over again and start using more for my collection. The Cat Tarot, or I, as I call it, the Fiber Artist from Hell. And finally, the Three of Pentacles from Light Sears. Okay, so when I finally get my Yarn Tarot in, yeah, I'm excited to do a flip through of that. Um, I don't know if it's something that I will use a lot for readings because just because it's so specific, but it's really exciting to see a deck that basically represents four of like my major passions, knitting, crochet, spinning, and weaving. And well, well, in the fifth one is fiber in general. I just love all sorts of fiber, especially wool. It's my passion for wool is I, I could just... I could talk and think about it for ages. But anyways, if you're a spinner, a knitter, a crocheter, a weaver, or just a person who likes textile crafts, a quilter, um, I hope you enjoy this video and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. And oh yes, I keep forgetting to say this, but if you like this, um, please subscribe. I post kind of irregularly, but I do a combination of like deck flip throughs, VRs, and occasionally pick a card readings. Okay, take care. Bye.